Good evening, City Council. Um, I really enjoyed hearing from uh, Paul Salvagno. He's a citizen, he cares, he has a good idea. And that is to postpone this action tonight before you guys rush through something without doing your homework. I think the City Council needs to stop cowering and looking down at their notes and start raising their eyes to the citizens that make Austin what it is. I wish a nonprofit would preserve it. Unfortunately, Will McLeod, that's not gonna happen because this city council cares more about rolling out the red carpet for developers than it does about protecting what makes Austin weird. And you're losing people already to San Marcos, that's even right. to San Antonio, for crying out loud. I mean, Fort Worth has the most, highest number of historic buildings currently in existence in the state of Texas for a big city. Austin is close up, but we're losing that. 24th Street, we demolished a historic school to build a huge development. Why is that? Well, greed takes over. Now, I'm afraid this city council is becoming the primary mover of growth in corporate redevelopment in the city. This is not the free market. This is not the natural market as it should be. This is managed growth. You're getting handouts to corporations continually. Stay on topic. And you, this is on topic, sir. I'm showing you the bigger picture. I hope you cannot take a citizen's testimony because you throw people out all the time. The problem is that this council is so tied in with developers because they donate to your campaign, some which appear to be unaccounted for. And the problem, sir, now my time is not expired, is you will not listen to the citizens. Sir, I have a minute and six seconds left. Step back. Why? Because your, I said your time is up because you weren't staying on top. We'll talk more on Springs next. Gilbert. <laughs>